Hello everyone, welcome to Codis Camp. We are at 22nd day of July Elite Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is partition array into disjoint intervals. So it is an interesting problem where the input given here is an integer array nouns and we have to return the size of the left array uh, we have found. So basically we have to divide this array into left and right subarrays and the conditions given here are every element in the left is less than or equal to every element in the right. So left and right are non-empty and left has the smallest possible size. So we have to return the size of the left subarray we have found. So let's understand this with an example. So here is a given example in the problem statement. So we have to divide the array into two parts that is left subarray and the right subarray. And the condition is all the elements in the left subarray must be less than all the elements in the right subarray. So now starting with this array, if you see, if we divide exactly at the second position, in that case, 5 and 0 are there. So all the elements in the right subarray must be less than the left one. So if you consider the other three elements in the right subarray, 3 is actually qu quite lesser than 5. So this cannot be an exact partition. So let's move that cursor one more step ahead and calculate uh, the rest of the value. So now the left subarray is having 5, 0, 3 and the right subarray is having 8 and 6. Both 8 and 6 are having higher values than the elements in the left subarray. So uh, the partition at this position must be the valid one. So here the size of the left subarray we have found is 3 and that is going to be our output. So how are we going to approach this? So the basic idea here is we have to find a position or the index exactly where we have to cut at the point where all the elements towards the right must be greater than the left element. So there is a, a trick or a logic to find that that is we don't have to really compare all the elements in both the arrays instead we can pick the maximum value in the left subarray and the minimum value in the right subarray and check if the maximum value of the left is less than the minimum value in the right. Because if minimum itself is higher than the maximum value, then rest of the rest of the elements in the right is going to be maximum and rest of the elements in the left array is going to be minimum than the highest. So if that condition is satisfied, then we can find the exact partition where we have to cut our array and find the length of our left subarray. So how are we going to find the point where the maximum value in the left subarray is less than the minimum value in the right subarray. So as I said, our task is to find the maximum value from the left subarray and the minimum value from the right subarray. To find that, we are going to get the help of two integer arrays, left max and right min, and we are going to update it first and then move on to the comparison. So let's first update from left, that is, which is the maximum element from left towards right. So, so far 5 is the maximum element as this is the first element. So, let us update 5. Comparing 5 and 0, 5 is again the greater element. Comparing 5 and 3, again 5 is the greater element. And here comes the point where comparing 5 and 8, 8 is the higher element. So, again comparing 8 and 6, so 8 is the higher element so far. So, we have updated uh, at every point which is the maximum element so far. Same way, we are going to update the right mem from right towards left. So now comparing 6 and 8, 6 is the minimum element from left, sorry, from right. Same way comparing 6 and 8, 6 is again the minimum element. Comparing 6 and 3, 3 is the minimum element here. So let us update 3 here. The same way comparing 0 and 3, 0 is the minimum element. So again comparing 5 and 0, 0 is the minimum element. So now we have updated both the arrays with the maximum and minimum value. So now we have to compare both the arrays in order to find where is that point exist. That is where the maximum value is actually less than the another maximum value in the right. So when you check, you have to check the first element and the second element in the right array. Why? Because the condition clearly said we have to have two arrays left and right. So if that is the case, the minimum length would be at least one. So in that case, we have to at least include the first element as the part of the left subarray. So that position possibly can be 
the second position or after that. So we are going to compare whether 5 is less than 0. No, 5 is actually greater than 0 which actually means there are elements existing which are high, uh, lesser than 5 in the right array. So it's time to move and compare on 5 and 3. So here again 5 is greater than 3 which again means there exist lesser elements than 5 towards right. So now next adjacent pair would be 5 and 6. So here comes the exact value where 5 is actually less than 6 which is nothing but 5 is the maximum so far and that maximum is actually less than the minimum so far. So this is the point where exactly we need to cut it and the elements before this point are lesser than the values after this point. So these are the two possible subarrays we could find and this position is nothing but the length of that subarray, left subarray we have found and that is going to be our output. So this is going to actually work in big O of n time complexity and big O of n space complexity. But still we could do it in constant space. So before going into that approach, let's cover the code for this approach and move on to that. So as I said, we need help of two sub arrays, two integer arrays, max left and min right. So yes, we have updated our leftmost value to the first element and the rightmost value in the min right to the last element. Now we are going to up iterate the given array and update these values. So we have updated both the arrays at one iteration that is left from left towards right and right array from right towards left and here we are updating the maximum value and here we are updating the minimum value. Now it's time to compare these arrays and check at which point we have to exactly divide it. So yes we have comparing uh, the left most element with the adjacent element in the right array and if there is a point where left value is less than the right value then that is the position we are expecting and i plus 1 would be the length of the array. So we are finally returning minus 1. So yes let's submit. So yes, our solution is accepted. So now let's go and see how we can solve this in a constant space. So we have seen the linear time and space solution. So here we are going to go for an approach where we can solve this in constant space. So again, the idea is going to be the same, but the implementation varies uh, based on the space thing. If all the elements in the left subarray must be minimum than all the elements in the right subarray, then the left subarray must be having the smallest element in the array. For example, if suppose 0 is in the first position of the array, then the length of the left subarray will be 1 and rest can be the right subarray because 0 is the smallest element. So we have to have a minimum length of left subarray and this could be the solution. If not, if suppose our minimum element is at the second position. So in that case, your solution possibly could be after this index. Because the minimum element must always be on the left subarray. But that is not the only criteria. Because the rest of the elements must also be greater than the rest of the elements in the left subarray. So in that case, if suppose our uh, smallest elements that element is at the fourth position, then our solution possibly exists somewhere after this index. So that is the one thing we have to note. So in that case, we are going to find a position which is the minimum element and our solution is actually exists somewhere after that and after that position we are going to check for any element which is less than the elements in the left subarray. If suppose 5 0 is one part where 0 is the minimum element. So our index somewhere exists after this 0 
but there exist also a 5 so the rest of the elements must not be less than 5 so in that case 3 is less than 5 so in 3 cannot be a part of right subway for sure because we have highest element so far is 5 so 3 is less than 5 so it should be included in the left subway so this is the overall logic we are going to pull the elements towards left whichever is less than the maximum element before the smallest element and by using that idea we are going to figure out where is the index we are searching for and these max1 and max2 are nothing but uh, to keep track of the maximum element till we get the ne uh, negative element so let's go for a very quick dry run before getting into the code so here starting from the very first element our 5 is going to be part of both max1 as well as max2 so now comes the uh, 0 so 0 is less than 5 so 0 must be part of left subarray so in that case we are pushing our index towards next so our index is right now here so there comes the next element 3 so 3 is also less than uh, 5 so in that case 3 cannot be part of uh, right subarray so it has to be pulled over to left subarray so here comes 8 so 8 is actually greater than 5 so in that case we have to update our max to 8 and this as well to 8 because uh, we can possibly have this pointer as our solution but we cannot be assured that because after 8 what if there exists a 2 so 2 cannot be part of right subway right so in that case we have to temporarily fix this position so our answer right now is 3 so let's move on to check whether uh, any other elements are left after 8 or uh, greater than or less than 5 so in that case we are uh, having 6 here so why we are maintaining 2 max is if suppose this is the maximum element and there comes another uh, greater than greater element than 8 so in that case we have to fix 8 at the uh, first max and max 2 will be holding the next greater element so now 6 is actually less than uh, greater than 5 so in that case uh, we can check the rest of the elements whether they are less than 5 or not so again after 6 there are no elements left so we have successfully found this is the index where we have to make the partition so it may be a bit confusing but if you uh, do a dry run with different examples you will be getting an understanding so let's go to the code now so let's type this code and uh, I, as i said we are going to have two variables max1 and max2 to store uh, the current maximum and the next maximum so we are going to iterate our given array to find the maximum value so far till we find the minimum value. So whenever there is a maximum value, we are going to update our maximum value as well as the index. If not, we are going to update our second maximum value. So once all the comparison is done, our index will be having the exact position we want. So let's run and try. index plus one will be the actual position we have to return so yes let's run let's submit yes a solution is accepted and runs in one millisecond and which is the fastest solution so thanks for watching the video hope you like this video if you like this video hit like subscribe and let me know in comments thank you